Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. Now, when we last led off, um, pretty much we had no idea what that light down there was, but I think I'm going to go down and have a little fun at it, no matter what happens. Maybe I'll try not to jump into it just in case it's lava, because you never know. Okay, without further ado, it's lava and a creeper. It's a lava creeper, that would be terrifying. Okay, let's look around. Uh, that's gold, so we actually can solve a bit of our gold situation. We can look around, maybe actually find some stuff. But this would be a good lava lake to go and gather some... Well, I don't know what it would it be called. I think it would be called lava. Gather some lava and actually make another portal. So maybe what we'll do is gather a few more resources off camera, explore a bit, hopefully not get blown up by a creeper and or attacked by a zombie holding a very powerful weapon that would doom us all, and then get on with the episode. Okay, let's see here. Not a bad haul whatsoever, really. Let's sort our inventory. We're going to have to probably remove these things. And sort everything else. Put these in here. Yes, sirree. Uh, and probably smelt some of this. That stuff is still going, so we'll have to wait. I should probably prepare a bit more. One moment. Much better. Now that we have everything that we don't need nice and tucked away, what we can do is start our maceration process of all of our tin perfect number in fact to do that and we have another 64 uh, bricks in which we can play with now I think we'll need some more bricks so I'll just in case throw all this clay in there for some refinement and also what we're going to need to do is collect quite a bit of sand so I'm thinking one shovel plus the little extra that I have I'll find a pit to, you know, just take out of the land. In fact, I don't even need a pit. What I think I'll do is start basically leveling this entire surface so that we'll be able to actually, um, you know, do some more building in the future because this current uh, small little plot is definitely not what we'll be hoping for in the future. So let's take this, put some around here, and then go start digging. Okay, we got about two full stacks. That should be sufficient. And we have a lot of bricks. So what I mean by sufficient is that we'll actually start our coke oven and start some of that awesome process of smelting down a lot of our stuff. So we're going to need the coke oven. So we have to get a bunch of coke oven bricks. So we're going to need a lot of those. Okay, the maximum amount we'll need is 26. So 26, by doing this, we'll be able to guarantee that we won't get any extras. So like this, like this, and like this. Let's get our 26 Coke oven bricks. And we thankfully have enough stuff. Okay, and that's macerating. We need more energy in our generator, so let's charcoal that up, gather the remaining two bricks, and I'm thinking we should go for a nice little bit of 32 glass while we're waiting. So get this good. Now where will we want to put this for a good creosote uh, thing? Yes, a creosote thing. That is very descriptive way. Hmm. Where's the exact center? This is probably the exact center, so what I could do... Yeah, that'll work. Let's dig a hole and place this as actually a part of the ground. So that might be classy, seeing as we'll have a nice little center of the room. So making sure that this stays centered. And how many do we have on each side? And this will be where it needs to be. So, worst comes to worst, it's ugly and we have to uh, take it apart. But I'm not sure until we actually get to that point. So, 
coke oven, multi-block structure, it's nice and light, and etc. needs a middle free. And once we place the final block, it becomes an actual thing. Yes, an actual thing. It becomes an actual thing. That is very descriptive. Good for you. Okay, I'm guessing a nice even 32 wood in here. I'm not sure how fast putting wood in is compared to putting coal in, but we might as well figure out how that goes. I'm probably going to do some research on that in a test world and see for myself, but for now I'm thinking that it's good enough as is right now. Okay, so when we macerate all of this, we'll get, instead of this type of copper ingots, we'll get the industrial crafts copper ingots so that means eventually when we macerate everything we'll have only one type of copper ingot unless we go through other methods of actually creating it which might just be a headache so maybe once we find out one very quick method to create all of this fun stuff we'll just go ahead and use that for the rest of the time and no net increase of seeds yay okay so we're going to need to start making some build craft energy or at least methods to create said energy. What we'll need are a few pistons and the wood required. And what I'm thinking of doing is starting a small build craft energy room to start with. Like we don't really want to do too much right away because Ooh, that is taking a hell of a long time. I'm definitely going to need to research that. And did I manage to get this a perfect square? Son of a gun. I never would have thought I'd actually get that done. You might be able to get some, like, better stuff than that. Anyways, let's not focus on the many intricacies of this building quite yet we'll do that perhaps later not this time not this episode we have more important stuff to do funnily enough okay so we're going to need to make a thermionic fabricator to start with some more um, intricate uh, energy generations. For instance, we're going to need a peat bog, which is going to require some t copper and tin electron tubes, which will require me to s actually smelt this, and we actually have the glass that we need. Now that I think of it, I should have actually thought about it. Huh, who would have thunk it? Wow, how many times can I say think or variations of in one sentence? Okay, so... Buildcraft energy is going to require a bit of handiwork and some wand waving and etc. So what we're going to need to do first is make a few pistons. I think we'll go with four pistons to start with. Like so. Iron, redstone, huzzah, we got four. And also we'll be able to... Uh, to take the remaining uh, redstone out of that so we only have one stack of redstone. Now to start off with I think we're going to go with uh, two engines so is this enough? Each engine is going to require a certain amount of sticks so we'll get this and that so there this will be enough for six engines so I might as well make the stone gears and stop there Actually, there's no point. Let's keep uh, two of them wooden, put them away. We can make another engine later. Now, combine these with some glass and two pistons, because that's all we need. And we've managed to actually get the right number of cobblestone. Hmm. Okay, let's put this away so it doesn't actually steal any of our stuff, because we need what we have right now. Now, we're probably going to have to put this in a temporary location. There's nothing in here, I do believe. Stow. Okay. Put that in there. We're good. We got energy. Do we have energy? We got energy. Slow and steady. And 
probably will just go to cold. But considering that I don't really need to go for anything right now, I think we're good. Okay, so... What I want to do is put these two engines, like so. And then we'll have wooden pipes. Uh, we're going to need different types of wooden pipes. And we have two wood. That's a good thing. So, some wooden pipes. We'll turn them into power pipes. Ah, disoriented. Discombobulated. So when that goes, we'll have them both powering the one location. Now we're going to need to sleep. But before that, let's gather... No, let's just sleep right now. Let me sleep. I want bedtime. Apparently, Minecraft does not like you going to bed early. It just does not like you doing that whatsoever. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Okay, so... We got that there. We are going to need a lever to control all of those proceedings. So let's grab one leather. A uh, lever, rather. And what sort of magic block are we going to use to control it? Can we place one log? There we go. I think that is classy. Okay. Eh, whatever. We'll just keep that there for now until we decide to move it. Eh, I don't know. It's kind of growing on me. So, the first thing that we're going to want to make... Well, we want to make a few things, but to start off with, I think the best thing to do is actually make that uh, thermionic fabricator. Thermionic fabricator will help us make some electron... Hmm, whatever that is used for. So, <sighs> some electron tubes. So we need four gold ingots and a sturdy casing plus a chest. So we're actually going to need to gather the remaining dust from there and macerate our gold ingots, uh, gold ore rather, and we're going to need to actually fill this up with some more energy. No, you go in here, I suppose. Might as well put you there. And do we have any charcoal? No, we don't. We don't have any excess charcoal, so what I'm thinking of doing putting this there instead apparently it takes the same amount of time gonna have to wait for this stuff to finish but once that's finished we'll gather a bit more charcoal by ah whatever I'm not going to wait screw you okay we'll put these in here for now we got enough tin to keep us alive for a while and actually, we can gather the remaining amount of tin because it's the same quantity and we won't confuse ourselves. Like that, whatever happened. Okay, we are going to need... First, we're going to need the casing. So our starting casing will require those. Then we're going to need to make a chest. Simple enough. Come here. And once we have that, that's not burning. We're going to lose energy. Here we go. Six... That is going to have to do. Wait for that. Throw this in. Hey! I said throw that in. Stupid thing. And this will power everything else up for now. And we should be good to go once those are well done and crafted. It'll take slightly less than a minute, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we got our six gold ingots. At least I think it's X. Oh, we forgot to make the sturdy machine, so let's craft that. Sturdy casings. Then we'll combine it with the four gold ingots right here. For a limited time only. And we got our thermionic fabricator. So let's place this down. And that will be the machine that we're going to be using mostly. Now that being said, this is only going to be temporary until we can actually get something a little more permanent, considering we're actually going to require to toast a lot of our, uh, I was going to say bread, but that doesn't exactly work in this context, so I'm just going to shut up and craft. Okay. Now, to get to the lossless BC energy state, we're going to need quite a bit of stuff. Redstone energy cell is the main thing that we're going to want to make. 
which requires two buckets of molten redstone. So we need a liquid transponder and an energy storage empty thing, which requires lead, energy storage frame. This is easy to make, but this requires a diamond and hardened glass and more electrum. So we're going to need pulverized lead and pulverized obsidian. We do not have a method to make pulverized obsidian yet, but we can make the induction smelter eventually. But first we need a pulverizer. Pulverizer is going to be flint and a machine frame plus the reception thing. So we that's going to be simple enough to make once we get to that point. But I think I am kind of dancing around the issue right now in which we're going to make some electron tubes. So first of all, let's figure out what type we're going to need for the wheat thing, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, I realized, or rather not realized, but figured out what forestry uh, item is required to make the wheat farm. I need a combine I need to combine. A combine is basically the one that harvests it, whereas we have another one. Okay, let's check through this. Um, we need, what is it? It's somewhere here. A farm. Yes, a farm. We're going to need a farm. So that requires bronze electron tubes and tin electron tubes. We are going to need to make a few more of each type. So that's going to take a whole whack of energy. Now let's fill this up a bit first because we're going to need what? Uh, about that much. That'll be, ooh, not that much. Okay, while that's going, we can actually macerate some more important stuff like copper because, hey, why not? Copper, gold, throw in there. Okay, now that we have some charcoal for us to burn, we can throw one in there and one in there. And we're going to basically make some electron tubes. I'm going to want to make quite a bit. So two sets of each. So if we flip this leather bo lever, both of them will turn on. I said leather twice now. Huh, who would have thunk it? Okay, so it's going to take a while to heat up because these are just slow ass machines and this requires a good amount of energy before we actually get anywhere. Now, it might mean, judging by the fact that this hasn't exactly jumped up at all, that this is causing enough fudge cakes. Fudge cakes, that's going the wrong way, isn't it? Probably. Okay, we're going to need to make a wrench in the meantime. So, what we're going to need to do is get more cobble. So, let's run over here and get the cobble. I think they're pointing the wrong way, though I don't know why the hell that would be the case. Uh, sigh. Okay, we got our cobble. We need to make another stone gear. Here we go. Wooden gear. Stone gear. Combine this with iron, like so. And we have a wrench. And let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. So, obviously, this is the incorrect format to do anything of use whatsoever. Mm, sigh. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to break both of those, place them instead rather lamely like this. Ah, <sighs> way, way, way. What would I ever do? What would I do without you, Way? Well, considering that you are Way, you would probably be a bit non existent, anyways. Let's move onwards, let's get a lever, go over, actually do something a bit more rewarding. So we're going to have to do something a bit more like so. Turn those on, hopefully we actually get enough energy through this to do something useful. This should give enough energy. One megajoule per tick output should slowly, there we go. So the wooden pipes we're managing to take just enough loss to basically make it not heat up whatsoever which is a little odd but i guess there's a reason for that so when this little bar goes up ahead of this bar we'll be able to actually craft stuff with this 
going to take a bit of time, so we'll have to wait for that to heat up. This is going to need to be a bit more useful because we are... Ooh, nice. I'm guessing it kind of was useless in energy. Where are you? You don't go in there. You go in there. Okay. So we're going to need to sleep again. Wow, time really flies right now. Hey! Hey! Let me in! Let me in! Peekaboo? Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so one electron tube, two... Let's take this out now. Take that. Put tin instead. Get two, and we're good. So turn these off. These will gradually lose power. But while we're here, we might as well make our other set of electron tubes that we will need. We're going to need more molten glass, get our golden ones, and we are going to need diamondite. These will be for the tree farm that we'll make later. So here we go. And just killed it. Woohoo! Okay, now let's sleep. Put these in a nice area for us to use later because, funnily enough, we will need to use them later. But we will need to use these now. Uh, let's throw these into our other chest. And we have somehow run very, very low on tin. Oh, no, we didn't. We're just stupid. Okay, they store a lot of energy. And we should be good to go. Now, these will require power. So we're going to need to figure out some way to actually power the machines once we actually get them running, which is going to take a bit of effort. Also, another thing that we're going to need is one of those, um, the name escapes me right now, but it is rather important. Carpenter! We're going to need a carpenter for the electron boards that we will need. A carpenter will require a bit of bronze. That's an understatement, but whatever. I think that's good, and we are going to need a bit more copper because we have thus far run out of copper because a lot of it... Oh, look! Copper! Who would have thunk that we would have had some copper? Okay. Um, I did. Hello. I'm me. Nice to meet you. Okay, we got this at least. We can make that. So we got one sturdy casing. And we're going to take some more of our copper and combine it with more stuff to get more bronze. And we're going to need two more pieces. You know, it would have been more efficient if you actually went all at once. Ah, that makes too much sense. Let's go onwards. So let's get our carpenter, which is going to require a formation like so. It's also going to require some energy. We won't need this for a while so let's pick it up and we're only going to need each machine temporarily so far so let's just place them like that and we can get them back afterwards we're going to need to make two uh, circuit boards ah like so I think and we're going to need to make some tin capsules to get some water so let's make some of these cans, rather. Let's make some of these, gather some water. I don't think uh, anything else will work, so let's just go like so. These are taking a long time to grow. One, and done. Okay, got that. Let's go out. Son of a gun, I probably would have destroyed my crops if I, crops if I wasn't lucky. Me? Lucky? Never gonna happen. Okay, speaking of luck, we might as well feed those dang sheeple. Because we're going to need some more wool eventually. Make more babies. <laughs> Sorry, that was a low random. Eventually, we'll probably divide them up and color each of them so that we actually have some wool for us to work with. Okay, so we'll need two water. That's good. And now all we'll need is to power this up by charcoal. And then it'll slowly make everything that it needs to. Now we got a bit of coal coke, so that can be used maybe in a blast furnace when we actually get the darn thing. 
but considering where we are right now that's going to take a while and one of the fun things that we're missing is those slime balls and we can only make those actually make them with resin or centrifuge with mucus comb that just kind of is disgusting then again we can use a crisp uh, milk and lime dye with a crystallizer so what's a crystallizer and what do we need crystallizer is a little easy to make so we can probably use that and get some lime dye to make that that'll be simple okay uh, we need another one there we go we got all our circuit boards and we have all the power that we need well this does store energy so let's keep that running it doesn't really matter but we might as well give that a go okay we're going to need two more sturdy machines so we're going to need about this much there we go turn this into some profit and combine it all and we got sturdy casings and now what we'll need are the electron tubes with we, which we actually have in our inventory so a small circuit board a piece will have the electron tubes oops that's wait the freaking second uh, let's see the farm bronze it requires bronze and how am I supposed to make it the other one what does the other one require hmm well I'm gonna need to make a peat bog anyway so I guess it doesn't really matter but we're going to need to make two more circuit boards after the fact and this is the turbery so one moment let me look it up okay we needed iron and bronze a little disappointing considering that we were already warmed up and everything so this will be the amount we'll need we'll take this off well once again put that blade thing down then we'll need to put the carpenter down again because we are I'm a complete idiot I'm not gonna even put we in this case because it's me who's a complete idiot not checking everything that I actually need uh, we'll need to put that there. We'll need to warm this up as well. This is going to need one more charcoal a piece. And where's our iron? Let's throw these away. And our iron is in here, which we'll use as well. So once that gets up to steam, we'll actually be able to create some stuff. We got more copper there. We'll just throw that in and get that ahead of the game. Then we'll need to refine the tin and we should be good to go. Now the lime stuff, let's make the crystallizer right away. We got the stick and we got a string and we got the iron. So let's make a crystallizer. We'll need a cauldron and a stick and a string. I don't believe this requires any form of energy, though we will need a milk, bo uh, milk bucket, which will require cows which is going to probably take some time to find seeing as I don't think they are generated in force now this is out of energy and I only have two charcoal in total now let's just make this there we go and now that that is done we can just take that all out put it out of its misery get the carpenter we're going to need our water which we do have thankfully put that in tin 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 uh, tin and redstone we got the redstone we are gonna need the tin throw the tin in tin in haha <laughs> there we go making it rather quickly considering that ah oh, fudsicles as if ah uh, sigh as if okay so come on we got one and we'll have one more after that's done and we're going to need to 
fill this up and probably we can use the coal coke. It's not really going to kill us if we use some of our coal coke. Because, yeah, we got enough of it as it is. Okay, where are we going to want to put the wheat thing? We'll probably want to start putting it over there. We're going to need some more uh, better engines than what we have right now. And we're going to need to harvest a lot of dirt that we currently do not have. So that's one thing we can do. We can probably get the dirt when we get the, not the turbery, but you pretty much know what I mean right now. And that got another electron or circuit board or whatever the heck it is. Okay, throw this in right here. And we're going to once again make more copper tin, etc. We'll need to make those other stuff like so and here we go let's see if we don't botch this up this time okay starting machines check electron tubes check firm check and we got our combine okay so I think the only thing we can do right now in this episode is to finish by planting this down two levels and we're gonna put our harvester or combine rather down as well now I believe if we put them together one will put the seeds into th this will put the seeds in here first of all I think at least we're gonna have to experiment a little like that and we'll put the peat bog somewhere else once we get enough energy to do so. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.